I wanted to bookend the Alfredo Alcala episode with a bit of bonus content, and I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to uh, showcase uh, a key piece in my collection as far as, you know, my love of the uh, Filipino uh, comics of the 1970s. And that piece is a magazine of which only one issue of ever came out, just one issue. And it's called The Philippines Comics Review. And this was published in 1979. It's a key artifact in terms of, you know, being that it was published in 1979, it itself bookends, you know, that particular movement um, as far as the Filipino invasion. But what I love about this, too, is that it also covers, you know, key um, movers and shakers uh, within the Filipino comics industry, you know, apart from their involvement uh, with uh, comics here in America. So it's very much, like I mentioned, just a time capsule of what was going on at that time with uh, Pinoy comics. And, um, you know, very hard to come by for whatever reason. I'm not sure how rare it is, but I had to hunt this for like years before I was able to get a copy. So I so I'm very, very pleased that I was able to do so. As you can see here, the front cover features a glorious painting by Nestor Redondo. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Look at this. And he also does the back cover as well. Um, both of these paintings are in oil. And um, man, they, they really set it off nicely. And when you start to flip in side of the magazine, uh, the first article you come across is about Francisco Coaching, and he is considered, I guess you would say, kind of the dean of uh, Filipino comics in terms of, you know, a lot of the uh, brushwork and a lot of the uh, conventions that were to be found inside of uh, Pinoy comics around that time really began with him. You know, uh, he was kind of, I guess you would called the first Filipino um, comics star um, there in the islands. Um, and I don't think he ever came over to America and did comics here. I could be mistaken, but I've never, cro I've never run across any examples of him doing so. Um, but, you know, this article here is very educational in terms of um, just his contribution to uh, Pinoy comics and you know, just his uh, craftsmanship as well. So that's that was cool to see. And there's also another article in here by, of all people, Alex Toth. Uh, Alex Toth actually gives opinions um, in terms of, you know, what he thinks of the whole Filipino uh, comics community. And I think it's cool. Um, by account, what I've read here, uh, he was very pleased and just very you know, wowed by the whole scene and by the artistry um, that these artists were presenting. So, you know, he has a reputation for being kind of a grouse, you know. <laughs> you know, no, no matter how masterful he is, you know, there were occasions that he could come across as a grouse. And then there are also other articles in here about other um, Filipino artists you know, that were in the scene. So you're really getting a whole breath of, you know, what was going on. And the showcase for me is actually a interview, a full-length interview with Alex Nino. Um, there's an article written about him detailing, you know, how he came up through the Filipinos comic scene and made his mark here in America. And then afterwards, there's a, a Q and A with him. Also, this this was a main buying point for me. You know, when I got this, you know, just being a huge Alex Nino fan, this really made it worth you know the price of admission for me. So you know that that that's that's cool in and of itself. And then the rest of the issue is basically again uh, just focusing on the actual Filipino scene itself. And it ends with a uh, Nestor Redondo collector's album. And what you have here are like five, uh, five full page uh, spreads of uh, Nestor doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? The beautiful women, uh, the animals, beautiful women, 
you know, there's a centaur in here, but beautiful women, you know, and <laughs> he he's just doing his thing. I mean, this this stuff again is just wonderful. And looking back over uh, this section here, I think that all of these pieces were actually source material for uh, publisher Manuel Awad to uh, put in the Art of Nestor Redondo book. Um, I think these were probably scanned in and uh, cleaned up in terms of just adjusting for uh, printing in the book because I, I believe all of these pieces are in there. So um, this is where uh, they came from initially. And then lastly, what I, what I thought was really, really cool was um, there apparently was a mail order service where you could send off and that you could actually purchase some Filipino art from the BC books um, that, you know, a lot of these uh, Pino artists were doing. And gosh, could, could you imagine? Think about this. Who, who knew? Who knew? you know, that prices would blow up to, you know, whatever they are now, just astronomical, you know, to get some of these pages. I mean, man, look at this. I mean, they're offering original Nestor Redondo art from Rima and Swamp Thing. And, you know, you got art here from the uh, from other Filipino greats. I mean, this is, this is a hell of an opportunity, you know? And just, wow. And even the little art here in the ad itself, I believe... Looking at the signature, that's also redondo. Um, look how expressive that is, you know. And you, you I really don't see uh, redondo doing a lot of that in terms of the exaggeration of the hand coming towards you or things of that nature. He's usually very, very uh, naturalistic. But just look at that. That's that's a beautiful figure. That's a beautiful couple of figures right there uh, with the uh, woman included. And... Um, you know, I, I was looking at some of the uh, inking here, too. You know, something like this is almost reminiscent of a uh, of an anchor that I'm very fond of by the name of Armando Gill. Now, Gill was Dominican. Uh, he was not uh, Pinoy. But some of these touches that you saw in the uh, Pinoy art of this time, I would not be surprised if it had a um, influence on other anchors as well, you know, coming up through the uh, big two, uh, Marvel and DC around the same time. So yeah, that is the Philippines comics review. And um, man, it's a hell of an artifact. Uh, if you are able to track it down, um, definitely do so. Uh, pick it up and add it to your collection. Uh, it's definitely something to hold on to.